Welcome everybody to Rusty Money Gaming here on YouTube, a place where we gather in the barn house for challenges, live streams, let's plays, and more. So I hope you will sit back, relax, and enjoy this next creation by myself, Rusty Money. Welcome to the channel, everybody. It's Rusty Money here. And we are here on the Rock Crawl map by Alien Jim for Farming Simulator 22 here on my PlayStation 5. So welcome to my top 5 plus 2 modded tractors from the large category in the Mod Hub. Now please remember I'm going to try and do my top 5. Five from the in-game default categories by giants like small, medium, and large tractors. Hopefully I can get those done for you too. I wanted to keep the modded ones by all those great modders that bring us mods to the mod hub separate. So before we start this, I would just like to say thank you to all the modders in the FS community for especially bringing their mods to all platforms as I do create content 100% on my PlayStation 5. So thank you to all the modders for all their great time and dedication in creating mods and releasing them to Giant Software for FS community. So welcome to my top five. I'm going to go ahead, everybody, and try and pronounce all of the modders' names correctly as well as post them on the screen for you, share some screenshots as well, and uh, put links in the description of the video for each one of these tractors you will see in my top five plus two. So these are in no particular order, so let's get started. We will go over to door number one down there is what we're going to call it and see what's in it. All right, for my first of my favorite top mods for large tractors, let's see what's behind the door. It is a Massey Ferguson 8700S by Blau. It has a horsepower of 300 to 405 horsepower, a great modded tractor in the large tractor category in the Mod Hub. Has a few different color customizations, lots of tire options, and um, a number of other options, but we will go ahead and look at this one in the store. All right, here in the store, the Massey Ferguson MF8700S starts at a default of 300 horsepower, 31 miles per hour for $250,000. Has engine upgrades of uh, 325 horsepower to 350, 380, 400 and 405 and then back to the default of 300 horsepower has a number of tractor tire options but let's just look at trailer borg we got standard twin wheels rear twin wheels wide tires and weights wide tires wheel weights back to standard warning signs no or yes, as you can see it put there by the rear of the cab of the tractor. And then for main colors, you can select any one of those there and design color. Any one of these here. And then rim color, we can do any of those three. And then you can have a license plate. So a great O tractor by Blau in the Mod Hub. Let's go look at the next one. All right, the next favorite tractor of mine in my top five in the large tractor category in the Mod Hub 
is the Case IH Magnum Series 2018 by Carl Farms. Ranges in a horsepower of 250 to 435 horsepower. It has a few different color options, lots of tire options. You can get tint in the windows and a few other customizations but we'll take a look at this case ih magnum series 2018 by carl farms in the store all right here in the store the case magnum series 2018 has a default horsepower of 320 at 31 miles per hour for 260 thousand dollars now you can upgrade that engine up to a uh, magnum 250 cvxd drive at 320 horsepower to a 280 power drive at 350 horsepower and then um, Magnum 280 at CVX drive, 350 horsepower, back to the Magnum 310 power drive, a Magnum 310 CVXD drive, a Magnum 340 power drive at 410 horsepower, a Magnum 340 CVX drive at 410 horsepower magnum 380 power drive at 435 horsepower magnum 380 cvx drive at 435 horsepower and then back to the standard 320 has a lot of different wheel customizations we'll take a look at trailer board we got standard rear twin wheels twin wheels row track wide wheels narrow single wheels 30 inch spacing narrow rear twin wheels 30 inch spacing narrow twin wheels 30 inch spacing narrow triple wheels 30 inch spacing narrow single wheels 36 inch spacing narrow rear twin wheels 36 inches spacing narrow twin wheels 36 inch spacing row track narrow wheels row track dual back to standard then you can have beacon lights none left right both left style two right style two both back to none fenders you can have front fenders front and rear rear or no windows regular light tint dark tint back to regular extra lights no yes adds a little light there on the side of the front of the cabs up there just below your uh, overhead front cab lights um, and then back to no rear wheel weights no or design one two or no in cab monitors you can have none or field viewer precision planting Precision planting and field viewer, real dashboard, field viewer and real dashboard, or none. Attachers, we can have standard, quick hitch, back to standard. Flashers, standard, European, or no. Front attachments, none, or you can get a front three-point and PTO. Weight rack, 600 pounds, 1,200, 1,800, rock box, back to none. And then main colors, you can choose any one of these. 
Design Killer, you can choose any one of these. It does the interior of the seat and stuff. Then Rim Killer, we can choose any one of those. And that is it. The Case Magnum Series 2018 by Carl Farms. On to the next one. All right, behind this door, we have the John Deere 7R by Foot. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, but you will see it on the screen now. A John Deere 7R. This is a really nice tractor in the large tractor category because it comes with a front loader and not too many large tractors in the mod hub have a front loader so here is the john deere 7r front loader option plus some different um tire options and color options but let's take a look at this one in the store all right here in the store we have the john deere 7r at 290 horsepower at 31 miles per hour for $247,500. You can have an engine setup upgrade to 305 horsepower, 332 horsepower, 352 horsepower, 373 horsepower, 388 horsepower, or back to 290. All right, now you can have several different wheel customizations. Let's look at trailer board here. We have standard wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires and weights, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, rear narrow twin wheels, back to standard. And then we have Design European or US. Then we have decal, Decals Yellow, Green or Back to Yellow. We have Display GPS No or Yes. Attachers, we have Three Point Front Loader. Or back to three point. Main color. You can switch it to black. Design color. You can switch it to green. Rim color. You can switch it to black or green. That is the John Deere 7R by Pafot. I'm probably really not pronouncing that very well i have no idea how to pronounce it but you should have saw the mod author name there on the screen so let's go ahead now and see the next tractor in the large category all right behind this door in the large modded tractor category we have the case ih magnum 340 400 series special edition by mac trucker 921 an amazing tractor here probably my one of my top tractors of all categories right here by mac trucker this tractor is just amazing with power it has a decent speed plus comes with the front loader option and front three point with pto as well but let's take a look at this thing in the store all right here in the store the case ih magnum 340 400 series special edition by mac trucker has a default horsepower of 390 horsepower for 42 miles per hour for $312,000. This has a lot of customizations. We can go with capacity no, yes, which puts uh, liquid fertilizer tanks back there, or back to liquid fertilizer tanks unreal capacity. 
liquid fertilizer tanks unreal capacity two unreal capacity three unreal capacity four and back to no i've never used those tanks but other people probably have now our engine setup starts with 391 horsepower to 723 horsepower with a magnum 400 and then we have a magnum 400 power drive twin turbo one at 886 horsepower to a twin turbo two at the same amount of horsepower and then a twin turbo three at also 886 horsepower and then we are back to the default 391 horsepower now lots of wheel customizations let's look at trailer board standard wheel weights rear twin wheels twin tires and rear weights twin tires and twin rear weights twin tires and front weights twin tires and front twin weights twin wheels twin wheels plus weights all twin tires and rear twin weights all twin tires and front weights all twin tires and front twin weights narrow tire twin wheels narrow twin wheels crawler track crawler track broad three meter three meter dual back to standard warning signs none u.s european back to none led strobe options no led corner strobes yellow led light bar yellow all led strobes yellow led corner strobes yellow white led light bar yellow white all led strobes yellow white led corner strobes red led light bar red all led strobes red led corner strobes red blue led light bar red blue all led strobes red blue led corner strobes red white blue LED light bar red white blue all LED strobes red white blue LED corner strobes blue LED light bar blue all LED strobes blue LED corner strobes blue white LED light bar blue white all LED strobes blue white LED corner strobes green LED light bar green all LED strobes green, LED corner strobes green white, LED light bar green white, all LED strobes green white, LED corner strobes pink. Then you have the light bar with pink. You have several color awesome customizations with the light bar and the strobes on the top of the tractor. So let's move on here to windows standard tint style one tint style two tint style three back to standard then you have attachers three point 1035 kg front weight 1250 front weight 1580 front weight 2030 front weight three point back to weights Then we have front loader attacher, no or yes. Main body color, any one of these colors here. You can see how much we're changing the colors there. the uh fertilizer tanks are also colorable we don't have those on right now rim colors and license plates so a nice tractor with tons of options
in the mod hub there by Mac Trucker 921 Let's move on to the next one. All right, behind this door, we have the John Deere 8760-8960 by Sid Modding. Has a horsepower of 300 to 370. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one in the store as it has some different window tint options, wheel customizations, uh, exhaust customizations, and thereforth. So let's look at this one in the store. All right, here we are in the store with the John Deere 8960 for 300 horsepower at 19 miles per hour for $79,999. We have options like fuel tanks standard, extra fuel tank, back to standard. We have an engine setup of an 8760. 8960 at 370 horsepower back to an 8760 at 300 horsepower we have wheel setups at standard standard two twin wheels twin wheels and weights twin wheels and weights two twin wheels and weights three triple wheels triple wheels two wide tires wide tires and weights wide tires and weights two wide tires and weights three wide tires and weights four wide tires and weights five wide tires and weights six wide tires and weights seven twin wheels two twin wheels and weights four twin wheels and weights five twin wheels and weights six twin wheels and weights seven Wide tires two, wide tires and weights eight, wide tires and weights nine, wide tires and weights ten, wide tires and weights eleven, wide tires and weights twelve, wide tires and weights thirteen, and so on. Tons of customizations for wheels set up, everybody. But let's move on. Design standard black tip, standard copper tip. Standard silver tip, silver pipe, standard black pipe, additional, um, oh wait, we skipped one there. Attachers, standard, PTO, standard, or three point or standard or PTO so for the attachers again we have PTO three point standard additional front lights we have no or yes green star 3000 we have no or standard or standard two or no windows we have standard black or standard version we have standard u.s version standard aussie version aussie extended version standard main color here's where it gets interesting you can see we have an eighty-one thousand four hundred ninety-nine dollar tractor right now but if we go here to used, we can drop that to 60000 by taking off $21,431 by changing the paint to used. We can also take off a little more by changing the design color here to also used. And for some reason, then it drops it another eight thousand making this a 300 horsepower tractor for fifty one thousand six hundred and fifty seven dollars a nice tractor in the mod hub by sid modding now let's take a look at my two honorable mentions 
All right, these two honorable mentions here are by no particular order. It's just I really appreciate the two modders for bringing these two tractors to the mod hub. As well as all of the other modders that brought those other five. All great tractors, I've just used those five more than I have used these two, but wanted to highlight these two. So what's behind this door? We have the Massey Ferguson 4000 series by EY Modding for 225 to 375 horsepower. A nice little large tractor in the Mod Hub has few different customizations and lots of tire options. So let's take a look at it in the store. All right, the Massey Ferguson 4000 series has a default of 225 horsepower for 18 miles per hour at $140,000. We have an engine setup of a 4800 to a 4840, increasing that to 265 horsepower to a 4880 at 320 horsepower to a 4,900 at 375 horsepower. Then we have some different wheel options. Let's take a look at trailer board here. We have standard, wide tires, wide tires two, twin wheels, twin wheels two, back to standard. We have exhaust type one, two, three, back to one. Design, we have non-fenders or back fenders, non-fenders. Attachers, we have tow bar or three-point hitch. Attached or main colors, we have this red color available as well as the faded red and then we have license plate options but a nice tractor by eui modding now let's take a look at the last one all right the last of my favorite modded tractors from the large tractor category in the mod hub is the john deere 4020 pulling tractor by ey modding the reason I had to highlight this mod is because I hope an FS25, a few other modders will make us some other different designs of pulling tractors. There is a nice little tractor pull um, machine or trailer i should say weight trailer tractor pull weight trailer made by ridiculous dominic that is also in the mod hub that you can attach to this thing and have yourself your own little tractor pull but this thing yeah it might be not used for real life farming it does have a hitch you can pull things around it's just really cool a nice little toy brought to the mod hub by EY Modding. So let's take a look at this thing in the store. In the store here we have the John Deere 4020 pulling tractor by EY Modding. At 1300 horsepower for 24 miles per hour for $150,000. We have an engine setup of a 4020 to a 4020 pulling repowered plus at 1500 horsepower back to a 4020 pulling lfc a 4020 repowered plus lfc back to a standard 4020 pulling now we have pulling parts no or yes pulling parts no or yes we have a paint scheme where it changes the name 
to uh, Nun or the Corn Puller, the Money Pit, Deer Drag, Deer Express, Count Dragula, the Diesel Chugging Deer, or back to No. Then we have Attacher Configuration Low, High, back to Low. So a nice little fun toy in the Mod Hub by EY Modding. Alright everybody, well, thank you for watching my top 5 plus 2 modded tractors from the Large Tractor Gordy category in the Mod Hub. I hope you found something new to enjoy here as all of these mods I showed you work really well. I've had a lot of fun using them either on or off camera. And um, if you like this, please remember to drop me a tasty treat on that like button, which is better known by myself as a crop battery and by you all people as delicious donut. Don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section and please share a box of donuts by sharing the videos and or the live streams from the channel. But until next time, everybody, we will see you all on the flip side. Have a good one. PlayStation.